In addition to editing videos, another thing that you're able to do in iMovie is you're actually able to add still images into your, into your project as well. Um, it, you can do this by clicking on the camera button here. And that gives you access to all of your photos in iPhoto. In addition, if you go into the finder and choose a uh, choose a cho choose a folder of, of images, you can actually drag in photographs directly into your photo. For example, I could drag this photo in, and I, as it's to, to my iMovie I, I project, I can also just drag in photos from my iPhoto library and pops them in as well. And what happens when a, when a photo is added to an iMovie project, if you look at the video preview screen, is it automatically is set up with what's referred to as the Ken Burns effect, which is actually something that you can control. Let's take a look at this. If I double click on this or if I click on the blue gear to get more, more options, I can go into cropping Ken Burns and rotation. Same thing would happen if I double clicked on this, right? If I were to say fit this, it would just simply put the photo as big as possible within the frame of my project. That's fine. Or I can crop it and it gives me a green box and I can choose what part of the photo I want to have fill the frame of my video so that I would have this shot zoomed in if I were to use cropping. Um, however, were I to play with the Ken Burns effect, I would have a green box and a red box. And if I already do that, I could create a really interesting effect here. So I could have the green box is where the camera starts in the clip, and the red box is where it ends. So I could actually have the camera move from the green box to the red box over the course of the video. In fact, actually, if I preview this right here, you can see that's what the video clip would look like. It's a way of taking still photos and making them animated in a video. Um, I can add the same kinds of transitions bet between, between uh, clips with still images as I could with videos. Um, in fact, if I, if, if I were to start looking at this, it turns out that I can actually edit my video, my, my still images in much the same way as video clips. I can add voiceovers, I can add effects, I can add music. I can also adjust, if I, if I double click on a photo clip, I have an option to adjust how long it's showing for. By default, they all start up for three and a half seconds. But if I want to have a 10 second slow pan over this, I could have that. So it would be a very different effect, right? Be moving more slowly through this. Um, and you, once you've put uh, still images in, you can also, if you want, intersperse video in your project as well. Um, these, th th these are entirely interchangeable. The still images are just an additional option.